Having cats, it's literally like having children. Um, with this guy, you have to clean the, the stuff that he gets like crusty in the corner of his eye. Um, it's not very nice. And then he also gets this thing like in his nose. Um, he, uh, every, especially every time he goes outside, he comes back uh, with like something coming out. Uh, and I think it's because like he smells everything and you know, it's just like dust and stuff. So you have to, you have to clean for him. Super simple. I just, I just like kind of, you have to like kind of pick it. I know it's a little bit disgusting, but obviously you can wash your hands afterwards and he can't do it himself. So I try to help him. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't like it very much, <laughs> but it's just like, it just doesn't look nice. This black thing sticking out of his nose, um, and he's in a perfect mood to do that now. Oh, yeah. While we at um, cat maintenance, if you will, um, it's also important to check their ears that there isn't like build up of anything inside there. As you can see, I'll try to show you a little bit closer. His ears are super clean. I think Pixie does a good job helping him clean it, and um, sometimes you can see them sitting next to each other, and she'll be trying to clean his ears although he's not a big fan usually <laughs> he lets her do it for a couple minutes and then just like runs off he loves sitting on that tissue it's just tissue paper nothing fancy but yeah good fun anytime you get shoes guys just leave that tissue there she's just waking up from a midday nap oh you can tell she's in a cuddly mood hi What you just heard was Pixie making friends outside. Uh, I went up on the balcony and we had a chat uh, with our neighbors. It turns out they live above us uh, and each time they walk past, they say hi to Pixie. And she always talks back, they said. Uh, so um, I think she's trying to make friends. Uh, we just had a chat with them and actually they said they were thinking about getting a cat and now they are getting a cat <laughs> after after seeing Pixie and they said that they saw us taking cats on the on the walk sometimes. Um, and uh, they were like, oh, we really, we really wanted to come out and say hi to to, to the cats to like you know chat to you guys and see see what it's like uh, because they also live in a quite small place and they were worried that you know you can't make it work um, you know the thing is you can but you just need to make lots of sacrifices in your personal life on on another aspects but in any case we had to uh, we had to cut the conversation short because we're actually going on on a little date today uh, we're going to this new place that opened uh, in London it's called um, Fair Game it's in Canary Wharf. Um, what well, I hope is good <laughs> because we've not been yet, it's literally just open. So, um, well, we're actually planning to take you there today uh, and show you a little bit outside of the, the cat life that we that we usually show you. So, um, we're gonna run now because we need to leave the house like really soon. Um, and Moni's literally walking around like half naked because she's, she's still getting ready, but she's adamant that she's ready to leave in how long? Three minutes. Three minutes. I don't know how this is possible, but yeah, let's see. See ya. Apparently there's still time to, to shave her legs because we're wearing, what? Uh, a jumper dress today. So, um, all in three minutes. Magic. Okay, connected. Yeah, awesome. So we can start the game in 30 minutes. Yeah. Is there like a bar or something? We can bar, go to... street food vendor, no, 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 no. the whole oh, okay. thing. I like it.
We're back now, guys. Um, and as you saw, I won. I beat Matt, so I'm very happy about this. Well, to be to be honest, he he did give me a few points because we had to swap during one. Of yeah, the we games. swapped on one of the games where you had to like shoot, and Mon was like, "Mine isn't working," <laughs> <laughs> and it was working, and I got like lots of points on this one. So I'm like, ah, "Did you win?" Yeah, but I did. Officially, I did. officially, I did. she did. Um, but. I think I just want to say really cool place, uh, really cool place. I also think like uh, analyzing the business when we were there were like such a cool idea because they get you to wait for 30 minutes before you go and play and there's like lots of drinks and food and everything so you have to like hey. buy things. Um, yeah. And mom was just like getting the cats because they've been like fighting lately a little bit and oh, Pixie is just like hissing a blue bow. And just to give you a little bit more information on the actual like fair game and how it worked, um, it cost £13 per person. This is for the games. You can play each game two times. This is how it's advertised. But actually, you can't like get to the same section twice or the same game. Um, that means that you got two rounds, but the rounds are like back to back. So once you sit down and scan your wristband, uh, this is like the only time you're gonna play this game. So you can't go play another game and come back. I just thought like, this is something that we didn't understand. We thought we could come back and play the game again. But in any case, I think it was great value because for 13 pounds, you get to play each game. And like going to places like this, you usually end up spending a lot more because they charge for everything. But here it was actually okay. We bought a couple of drinks, pizza, and like it was really actually a good value date, I want to say, right? <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was lovely. Yeah, it was awesome. So we may have mentioned this before, but our cats are very synchronized. Um, oh, Bluebo just looked at us now, but he, they were sitting in exactly the same position. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and a lot of the time they <laughs> face the same direction as well. Go back on Bluebo now. Going back on Bluebo. We find it so funny when they do that. Sometimes they clean the same pool or just lay in the same position, look at the same, like in the same direction, but even in different rooms. Um, if you have two cats or more than two, let us know if that happens with yours, because I'm really interested to hear if that's something that siblings do or if that's just like a cat telepathy that just happens all around. I don't know. Let us know if you noticed that with your cats because I found it really interesting. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this is really weird because I know we're in a bathroom, um, but this is this is where he wants to play. Uh, and actually, okay, another another kind of weird thing and build an insight into our life. Every time I go to the bathroom, he comes here because he wants to be petted on this particular bath mat. And, and he's gone. <laughs> he's gone <now. laughs> Blooper! Wait for it, he's gonna come here. Blooper! There we go. And if you can hear something in the meantime, this is Pixie just um, very diligently um, cleaning her back pool. Okay, show him. He's purring. Okay, it gets better. This is just the beginning. Usually what I do, I close the curtain. He's listening. <laughs> I always get freaked out because I'm like, he's gonna catch me. <laughs> do you see the paw? Mm -hmm. He's quite ruthless when he plays like behind something. If he can see that that's our hand, he would be better. But like, yeah, that is quite scary. This, I'm not getting this back now. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding it through this. <laughs> so this is what happens every single evening when Matt wants to go and take a shower. 
he somehow knows when I'm going for shower, like he knows uh, because I think he hears the curtain and then he jumps into the bathtub straight away <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I need to play with and him. Sometimes Matt plays with him with his socks. <laughs> yeah, and that's another like bit, bit, of, a, bit of an insight. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're ruining this. <laughs> this is the thing with cats, even the time they like wait for the prey to like attack, it still counts as like, playtime and takes yeah. up the energy. So he doesn't have to be like attacking it, he has to be only focusing interested on and it. focusing on it. Yeah. Guys, I just want to say 85% of you are not subscribed. So uh, I want to invite all of you to take this really quick moment and click that subscribe and like button. It really does help the channel grow. Um, if you like today's content, a little bit different to, you know, just cats, um, leave us a comment and we'll do, we'll do more of that. We're just thinking of, you know, expanding a little bit more, maybe showing you a little bit more of what we do on a daily basis, other than cat life only. Um, but yeah, in any ways, that's where we're ending today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, a little, little bit of a different style, and uh, nice to talk to you again and show you, show you a little bit more. Um, thanks for watching, bye.